Hey, what's going on? My name is Esteban Shep from Streetlights. The verse of the day today is James 4, 7. So submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You see, ever since sin entered into us humans, pride has been one of our deepest enemies. Pride causes us to live in our own way, independent of God. And that causes so many problems. As we see in verses 1 through 6 in James 4, Pride incubates desires in us that do not align with the obedience to God and his character. It's actually exactly the opposite. Pride puts us in line with the desires of the world and with the devil, putting us first and foremost. And it's not difficult to see the consequences in our lives, right? In each of us, we see the failures in our personal lives after following our prideful desires and the results of them is most clearly seen in our relationships. That is the background in which James is giving the essential instructions from God to us on how to counter pride and the devil, how to resist the devil. His solution for our independent pride and how to resist this enemy of ours comes in verse seven. And what is it? His solution is to do what? To submit to God. You see, it's by submitting to God that he can change us. And what does he uh, do as a result of this submission? The devil flees. And as verse eight says, then God comes close to us, cleansing us from our evil desires. When we come to God in humble confession, drawing close to him, pausing to ask for his help and really just confessing that we need him. Well, then it's in that moment that he cleanses us and provides the power that makes the devil flee with his temptations and all his ugly lies. It's not by our own strength that we can resist the devil and see victory. You see, that would be pride talking. It is by the strength of God and by leaning on him humbly. This is also how our character changes to be even more like Christ Jesus, who by the way was the only one who never fell into any temptation of the devil. So I encourage you today, I encourage myself today, do not try to fight in your own strength against the devil or the dark desires that come from our pride. Submit to God and he will help you. He will help us. So pause and take this opportunity today to talk to him, especially wherever he may be pointing something out to you in your heart.